Hey everybody, what's going on? Ollie Rodriguez here and I have a box which we are gonna unbox right now. But before we open this box, please press subscribe. I'm trying to get to 250 subs within the next three weeks. So if you could subscribe, it would be a giant help. Now let's open this thing. So what the hell could be in this? Let's hope whatever it is, I don't cut it, is for me. I'm pretty sure I know where they are. Should be when I get in there. It's gonna take a second. I'm trying not to stab myself while I do this. That came very close to my throat. I'm gonna throw them away from me before I cause any more damage to myself. These are, yes they are, oh yes. Marvel trading cards from, I think, does it say on here? 1984, this, that is when all these cards came out. They basically, there's a site called Zabby which I get a load of steelbooks off of and they, it popped up in my email saying they're re-releasing some old Marvel trading cards and I was like, yeah, let's get some, why not? So these trading cards basically have images of each first cover of like major comic book series that were out at this time, so Everything that came out sort of before 1984, basically they're going to show the front covers of them all. And then if you take a look on the back here, it actually gives you a list of a couple of them. And I think on each different one, it will give you a different things you've got. So some of the ones we got here is Giant Size X-Men, Champions, Inhumans, Iron Fist, Howard the Duck, Warlock, Black Goliath, which I actually have, Nova, which I've actually got. Peter Parker, Miss Marvel, Spider-Woman, there's quite a few on there. Feel free to pause, see what ones are there, if it actually focuses. That should be good. But let's have a deeper look at these. Okay, so starting off on top, we have the Fantastic Four. I'm not going to go through all of this, I will just show you a couple of ones. So Amazing Spider-Man issue one, Sergeant Fury and the Howling Commandos, The Avengers, that's quite a cool one right there, The X-Men, here comes Daredevil, Ghost Rider, and finally, the brand Heck. I have no clue who that is. It's got Fantastic Four in it though, and then the Incredible Hulk. These are actually really cool to look at because it's just like, the thing that made me want to pick them is because it's like quite a nice, uh, what's the word, like not antique, I think it begins with a V, I can't remember what the word is, vintage. Yeah, they look quite vintage and it's really nice to just have a, have these as kind of a couple of training cards I have the defenders right there she hulk what else the thing so yeah these are really cool have i'm gonna pick out a couple of the like major ones for you to have a look at and then we'll have a look when they're sorted so these are a couple of my favorite ones so let's start off over here at the, over here where we have the inhumans then down here the amazing spider-man nova which is actually the issue i have miss marvel Moon Knight, I also have that issue. Fantastic Four, The Avengers, really wish I had that one, but that's probably never gonna happen. Giant-sized X-Men, which if you take a look over here, you can see on my wall, and then go back, we have Luke Cage, Hero for Hire, Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel, I don't know which one comes first, because you got this Captain Marvel and that Captain Marvel. I think that Captain Marvel comes first, because I think it's got the actual suit like it and then the incredible hulk over there the other captain marvel the warlock adam warlock right there then iron man and submariner and then x-men and tales of asgard and those are kind of like the main ones i picked out out of these ones another cool thing to add is i showed you the back of this and i thought that was on the back of all of them but this is actually just a marvel superheroes checklist of all the covers so that's quite a nice thing to take them all off when you've got them all and there's about 60 i don't know if they've got all 60 on here i imagine they must do but yeah so that's just like to tick them all off i'm not going to bother taking that but if you want to have a look at all these i will play a video of like me showing all of them after this but one extra thing i want to kind of mention is I thought on the back of them they would all have kind of the checklist thing on them, but they actually have some information about it, which if you want to read the Avengers, pause right now and have a read of that.
So I hope that was a cool little thing for you to look at, it's just like some random stuff I got which may interest some Marvel fans out there and I just want to add this at the end here, I didn't go to the cinema to watch Endgame, the extended post credits bit, the extra stuff they give out and I kind of understand there's not a lot extra to see but I found the clips on YouTube to watch and honestly not worth going to see again just to get a not even fully a done deleted scene and I'm sure the tribute to Stanley was great I didn't watch that and it felt like it was a Spider-Man Far From Home's out literally in about three days go and watch it here's a sneak peek clip of it and one other thing that I want to say is thank you to anyone who has watched my song that I dropped on Friday really appreciate the fact that so many people have watched it so far I believe at the current point of me filming this video it's at 91 views and hopefully within the next probably few hours it will reach 100 which I've been really pushing for so hopefully we get there and thank you for that anyway I've been Oli Rodriguez thank you for checking out this unboxing of some random Marvel trading cards I'll see you in my next video which is tomorrow because I'm daily uploading and it is Marvel week right now so if you love your Marvel superheroes, stick around.